Now a story involving allegations involving another local teacher. She is accused of having sex with a student who she was helping prepare for college. Legal editor Julie Grant has the story you'll see only on KDKA. According to detectives, the 16-year-old victim was in foster care, and Ashley Price was working for a company called Great Lakes that was contracted by the Department of Human Services to help him with his studies last summer. Detectives say that during that time of educational mentoring, a sexual relationship began. Police say 32-year-old Ashley Price was helping the boy study for his SATs and taking him to visit different colleges when they started having sex. Today, Price was formally arraigned on charges of institutional sexual assault because of her work at a center for children, unlawful contact with a minor, and corruption of a minor. Attorney Stan Levinson represents her. I really can't comment on the case yet because I just received the district attorney's evidence this afternoon. Obviously, I haven't had a chance to review it. Price lives in Monroeville. Detectives say she and the 16-year-old boy had sexual relations on multiple occasions, including at her mother's house, his mother's house, and his aunt's house. What I can tell you is that my client is a very nice, decent person. She's very upset about these charges. According to Allegheny County Police, the relationship started in the summer of 2017 and ended when the boy told his foster parents in December. Child abuse, it's not something that we, we talk about often. It's something that's hidden. Unfortunately, a lot of times these crimes are caused by members of the family or someone that is close to the child. Detective Corinne Orchowski is one of the case investigators and talked with us about how abuse victims should never hesitate to come forward. I mean, it's not too late. The statute of limitations have changed. Victims that are juveniles, they now have until they're 50 years old to report any type of sexual abuse. Julie Grant, KDKA TV News.